curious. I would expect bacteria of that nature to thrive in these conditions. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Taking all the environmental factors into account, there must be something I am still missing. Uh, may I talk to you, miss? She knows we're here. She just doesn't care. I am a detective, and I need to talk- Correction. You do not need to talk to me. Oh, no? How come? Because I am not a suspect. I am completely innocent of any and all crimes. Thanks for letting me know. Speaking of which, you have now been at Tangle Tower for over 23 minutes. Surely you have already reached a sturdy hypothesis. A hypothesis? About the murder? Yeah, come on, Grimoire, hurry up. My apologies. Unfortunately, protocol dictates I must at least meet all the suspects. And that includes you. So, uh, could you tell me your name? Fifi Fellow, microbiologist, inventor, innovator. You will need to be more specific. One's self cannot be summarized in a single response without doing one a great disservice. So true. Well, first of all, you're a fellow. So does that make you the daughter of- Correct. My father and mother are named Flora and Felix, but you need not question either of them. It will only waste valuable time. Neither of them are capable of murder. Thanks for the tip. Fifi, you said you were a micro... something or other? Microbiologist. But it is an insignificant label. My studies cannot be categorized in any one recognized field. What made you want to become a scientist in the first place? I harbor an intrinsic fascination with the microscopic. I constructed my first one at age 10. Constructed... a microscope? Correct. And what's that thing on your head? Did you make that too? My eyesight began to deteriorate when I turned 12. Not satisfied with the eyeglasses prescribed to me, I designed this custom lens instead. It automatically adjusts based on the surrounding light conditions. Does it glow red when you get angry? No. But that would be most amusing. What can you tell me about the murder? What can you tell me about... Wait, that's what I'm supposed to ask you. Yes. However, you were too slow. You fancy yourself a detective too, Fifi. I just need to know what happened. Me too. So talk. Fine. I knew ahead of time that Freya was going to be busy with her painting all day, so I had planned to spend the afternoon with Poppy. I was in the library all morning preparing the equipment for an experiment, only to find out that Poppy had made other plans and she was in fact planning to ignore me completely. Oh. So what did you do instead? I locked myself in my room and cried. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Why? I don't know, it just sounds kind of sad. It is not unusual. Oh. Good. I was in my room. The lights were off and the door was locked. Someone began banging on the door. I ignored it until the someone began shouting at me. I opened the door. Poppy came into my room. Her makeup was leaking. She told me Freya was dead. I did not believe it. I thought she was playing a trick on me, so I punched her in the face. She insisted that we go up to Flora's tower. We left the room and Poppy's father was waiting outside. He followed us upstairs. When I saw Freya lying on the floor, I was completely and utterly devastated. Then, I took a sample of the red paint on the unfinished painting. Poppy and I took the sample back downstairs to the library. We performed a test and found out that it was, in fact, blood. You performed that scientific test immediately, even though you were feeling so upset? Of course. Why would one affect the other? Name, Flora Fellow. Age, 44. Profession, unknown. Likes, unknown. Dislikes, unknown. Uh, isn't she your mother? How do you not know anything? I believe other people may have discovered methods of reaching her. But I have little capacity for interpreting nonverbal communication. And how long has Flora been uh, nonverbal? She has always been quiet, willing to speak when necessary, but not more. So, what happened to make her stop talking entirely? She suffered a great loss, something she has been unable to move beyond. 
Name, Freya Fellow. Age, 19. Profession, Artist. Deceased. Understand this. Most people find me difficult. They exhibit a noticeable degree of discomfort when talking to me. Uh... There it is. Freya, who had a way of being an exception to any given rule, was not at all like this. She is very important, and I will not rest until I understand what has happened to her. Did you spend a lot of time with Freya recently? I will say this. In the past year, Freya became, one, increasingly independent, and two, increasingly isolated. Do you know why? I do not. If you are looking for a speculative, empathetic opinion, try asking Poppy instead. The three of you are friends. We are of a similar age, and all highly gifted. One scientist, one artist, and one musician. Sounds like quite a team. Name, Fiona Fellow. Age, 19. Profession, amateur microbiologist. Likes, the meaningful archiving of information. Dislikes, the superfluous window dressing accompanying the majority of human contact. Notes. Kindly disregard the polysyllabic form of my given forename, and refer to me instead as Fifi. How come you prefer Fifi? How come you prefer Grimoire? How are you related to the other fellows? Fitz is my cousin. His father, a man named Flint, was my uncle. Was? I do not know if Flint is alive or not. He left Tinkle Tower a long time ago. And what about Freya? How are you related to her? We share exactly one grandparent. Freya is normally highly skilled at capturing someone's likeness, but in this painting, she has accidentally made Flora look quite young. I think she was just being kind. Why is that kind? Anyway, I'm far more interested in what Flora is holding. I performed the test on the red paint myself, I discovered that it was in fact not paint, but blood. What made you want to test it in the first place? It was Poppy. She told me she thought the painting looked like a bloody knife. I told her not to be ridiculous. My mother owns no such knife. But then I noticed that the color was slightly too dark, and the substance itself was overly viscous. You noticed that just from looking at it once? Of course. Fifi, did you test the red paint in this pot? Yes, I did. I discovered it, too, was blood, not paint. A whole pot full of blood? Not a whole pot. It is only partially full. Yeah, but still, doesn't that freak you out? No. In fact, it may be considered rather reassuring. The red paint on the brush is not paint. It is blood. Same for the palette. So Freya added the blood to the painting herself? Or blood got on the brush and palette some other way? I do not know the answer. Fifi's bedroom should be unlocked now. Can't wait. Don't think you can get out being questioned just because you're a bear. I'm innocent, I promise! Save it for the judge. Scientific formulas. Probably. I'll openly admit I have no idea what any of it means. I don't know what that drink is, but I bet it's 99% sugar. I'd read you the ingredients. But there's nothing written on the can. That's even worse. What's that big book on the desk? Looks like something Fifi's been writing. Is it a clue? I hope not. 
It's just a bunch of notes about her microbiology experiments. It's a magnifying glass. A big one. How come you don't have one of those? Why? Because I'm a detective? Should I start smoking a pipe, too? You can pull off a pipe. It looks like a microscope. A big one. Can I touch it? Uh, I'm not sure this is a microscope. I guess that's wrong. The four lenses all have different magnification strengths. So they must each have a specific position along the rail. magnify different parts of the image. Look. Looks like you might need to overlap some of the lenses too. You want to close up all the gaps on the spine. Start by finding the parts that are too small and make them bigger. Or vice versa. Nothing. You want to close up all the gaps. On Start the by finding the parts. Or vice versa. You want to close up all the gaps Start by or vice versa. Nothing. You want to close up all the Start by finding the board, vice versa. You want to close up. Start by finding the parts that are too small, or vice versa.
nothing. You want to close up all the gaps. I'm Start by finding the or vice versa. Want to close start up. by finding or vice versa. Reset the puzzle. Nothing. You want to close Start by finding the parts that are too small or vice versa. You want to close start by finding the parts that are too small and make them bigger or vice versa. Nothing. You want to close start up. by finding the parts that are too small or vice versa. You want to start by or vice versa.
nothing. You want to close Start the bubble by and vice versa. Nothing. You want to start or vice versa. I'll do this later. Boxes. Oh, stuff. Fifi's got something pinned up here. What is all this? That's you, Sally. What? I do not look like that. Do I? What is that? I'm not sure. What is that? I'm not sure. that no idea who is that no idea who is that no idea who is that no idea is that supposed to be me why do I look so angry that's just the face you make when you're thinking does make you wonder, though, when did Fifi draw all this? Is Fifi trying to solve the mystery with math equations? Maybe. Did you ever try that? Maybe it works. Is Fifi trying to solve Maybe. the Maybe. Did you ever try that? Did you notice who isn't on here? Freya? Fifi herself. Crystal chandeliers. Extra fancy. I don't know. They just seem old-fashioned to me. Plus, they're kind of dusty. That's a whole lot of books. I made posters. This one's about the Pythagoras theorem. Ah, I've not heard of that man. Are they any good? <laughs> 